looked over towards the chat. We're on your perspective the entire time. Oh, really? I was just looking at your perspective. <laughs> yeah, which probably isn't a great thing. I apologize, guys. RK, well, up on top line, you won't miss first blood. It's going to be RK. The charge is coming in from EGM, but with aggressive already there, Loader Mike, considering having a run, he's got the Riptide available, and that will ensure this kill over on Q. But actually holds back on it. Admiral Bulldog will now arrive, but Loader has to pop off that very fine, so he gets his life back again as aggressive into the tree line and What's away. The move? But no, they don't see him. Now they do. Admiral Bulldog will pick up a double kill and Garda. There's not enough damage to kill off Loader. There's another sprout available for Bulldog. He's going to do it. There's no tango oh. for Garda, so he can't break free. EGM will charge his way through. With he gets the bash. RK will arrive, and it's EGM. As you said, with that greater bash, finding the last hit. So first blood might go the way of CDEC. You. I can't believe that actually happened like that in their favor. The bash at the last second too. They're going again on mid. That's that nature's they profit. They a fraction charge, so no, he's got him back. It's. Yeah. But how do you fight against that? Like, there's no way that you're going to kill the TA. Yeah. It doesn't help when you get hit by these illuminates early on. But this time aggressive will dodge it. Okay, he's a long way away from home. Is there a tree line to cut through? There isn't really, but okay, yeah, there is. There's a small path headed north, and Loader, Q was looking for him. He'll go for the shock into the shackles. Loader's got nowhere to really stop this, so RK will go down to the Rocket Barrage of Aggressive. Kids! RK finding himself in a very, very unfortunate position. And let's see, he's just going to go for it. XZ. He's got the haste through, he's got the last suit. The Bulldog's well behind his tier 1 tower, and XZ's not going to take the risk. Then said they just TP middle lane. With the clamp coming out, Bulldog's already there. They primal split onto Shiki. Said this is the way that S4 ensures the kill on the TA. The one charge is a one second for Rocket. With the melt, but the rock is coming in. And that's going to lock down Shiki. They charge forward. The flame break will arrive from XZ. They have another Earth Sun if they want it, but S4, he actually, I don't know if that was a missed micro, but he turned himself around it with his primary hero. But yeah, XZ, he's got lasso. The two sticky napalm charges over on S4. Q will arrive as well. They're gonna hex so EGM can be taken out of this. And S4, the shackles are there, but now in comes Admiral Bulldog. With that Wrath of Nature, he does a lot of damage, especially when S4 can find himself a crit like that. And they actually lose the TA and the Bat Rider, the first use of the la of the lasso. Not coming up the way CDEC would have happened. I don't know what he'd, what he'd be really concerned about as well, because Bulldog didn't have an escape mechanism. Yeah. So starting with the Hex, like, if you had someone like a Storm Spirit, maybe. That was three heroes there, too. Yep. Like, they... That should have been a kill for them. That could have been... <laughs> the way back into the game. It's a lot of damage. Or economic uh, damage, Here we too. go for the Shackles. Q's got no, nothing more to give. S4, however. No split available. And he will go down here. Even with the Wrath of Nature, he gets the clap off. So there's a little bit of extra damage from that. But that's all. So the Brewmaster will end up dying. C to EC. They commit four heroes for that kill. So he's not using it just yet. S4 is rotating around. He's got himself that arc arcane rune. So ready to initiate in. He can just clap, split. They start the charge and Bulldog TP's in behind the tower. So aggressive. He's really got nowhere to hide. And well, there's your primal split going to go to work. Aggressive will die up in the tree line. And while well, they cancel the support TPs which are on the way. But this will allow Alliance to take out that tier 1 tower on the top lane. That did feel like an overcommit mint though. They were outside of the range of call down. If somebody was TPing, I can understand the split because then you can continue the chase, but... Well, the, TP, nobody... the TP was starting. Like, they, they cancelled the TP uh, on the I, way. I, I still feel like it was like you were going to get the kill. Maybe they were just afraid of the last side going first, but it doesn't matter. They should be able to pick up Ake here. Yeah, he's got no way out. So S4's going to be very happy if he can farm up this. <laughs> okay, yeah. They're trying to force Garter away, so S4 gets 175 for taking out the Tombstone. That's a fair amount. It is. A slither, where he's able to buy the Blink Dagger. The charge is coming in, and, uh, well... At this point, it's just Bulldog who was walking towards it, realized he wouldn't get there in time, so he TPs up instead. Aggressive lets the cooldown go, but the control factors are more than enough from Alliance to get that kill on Aggressive, especially now that EGM has arrived. And it will be Bulldog to find the kill over on Aggressive. How often is it that you see Aggressive? Does have the Calling Blade too. Obviously, you're going to go for the jungle here. The pace of the game is kind of slowing down ever since that mid tower was taken. I do think it is on CDEC though to oh, get aggressive. Split. Well, CDEC getting aggressive on. 
Oh, that's going to go down. I don't know, that wasn't even English. I don't know what the f I, I was trying to go for a play of words with the gyrocopter and ended up just failing absolutely Dyer's horribly. They should be able to grab this tower at the very least, get it denied. Oh, S4 oh. is going to get clipped by that. This should mean the death of him. Nobody's near him at all. They got enough control. He almost died just from the call down. He was losing his brulings too fast. EGM starting the charge down, but realizes that's not going to complete. In fact, that Shiki's going to follow him with the blink dagger. And EGM, yeah, dead to Shiki. Instantly, Bulldog starts a split push, however, so it'll end up being a lot of damage on a tier 2 tower on the top lane of fortification. He's just gonna pick up his Wraith Band. Probably still go for a Deso. They're coming top. Okay, it's bringing an S4 right now. At least that's the uh, relo the recall, I'm assuming. Yep, it's gonna be S4. He'll arrive. The cooldown will come out from Aggressor, but EGM's almost doing this solo. Loader will arrive, and, uh, well, Song of the Star is still available, so if they want to disengage, they can do it, but instead they commit with that Brewmaster split, controlling up the Shadow Shaman. The Mass Serpent Wards will never hit the ground. Shiki will, however, but that Refraction Charge currently protecting him. Two more defensive, now they're all gone. And Alliance, they just roll in. They burn through the Aegis of the Immortal. Exit's looking for an opening. Blink take us off cooldown. He can go for the last two if he wants to, but Loader, the Song of the Siren to begin. He's just a couple of illusions down, so he can actually rip tight up Garter if he comes in close, but they decide just to TP back out again. They got what they wanted, they got the Jar and the, and the Shaman. Actually, he had the fire... Here, he had the... Well, is, aren't, isn't both... isn't both correct? I'm getting worse at... That speaking it, American... <laughs> because of you, Toby. What, because I'm making you speak English, or Australian English? Oh, hello, EGM! He just, he just broke the smoke! He charged himself up and put himself on the cliffside! Ah, uh, this is fine. The Wrath of Mage is going to fly through, so a little bit of chip damage back, but yeah. That's a... I don't want to say useless to my boy, but yeah, it doesn't matter if he loses or dies there. It doesn't look like CDC are overly frustrated yet, and they haven't made any terrible overextensions or overplays, but Q's out a long way. The Courier's traveling out to win the ward, so they might just flag the fact that Q is up here. S4, does he get... he doesn't see him. He's pinging, he's, oh, he he's knows pinging now. the exact spot though. And yeah, they're going to find Q in the tree line. He can start with the Hex, but RK starting up with the Illuminate as well. Just keep him in there and RK's gonna get a free kill here. Sniped. <laughs> it works for him. EGM oh, is chasing down Z as well with the charge. He's got another strike available. They lost vision for a little bit. And now they got it back after Admiral Bulldog TP'd in and S4 was very quick to the fight as well. Continuing space. For is this their last smoke too? Before the Roshan? It better work, Batrider. Oh, you got EGM again! So another smoke maneuver from CDEC, and you find the Spirit Breaker. He's got nine one charges, so a potential to do nothing. Uh, so to wand and charge out. That's where my mind was moving. And Alliance can still fight this. The Brewmaster is coming in from the side angle. Down that new staircase, the mid tower it does still get destroyed by the Shadow Shaman Wars, but S4 blinks up, gets the clap, actually controls both Q and aggressive with it, and then instantly at the split, aggressive BKB TPs out. This is how much they don't think they can do it, but EGM, he gets the stun. They end up sending the Shaman up and towards the air with the Storm Brewing, so aggressive will die in the mid lane. Q will end up falling in as another charge up, but it's Bulldog who becomes unstoppable. You've lost two heroes, your top tower is down to half life. And a lion facing your entire lifespan. He moves forward. Poor Q. And Shiki's gonna jump. S4 quickly into the BKB. The lasso was gonna oh, be used by be XD. Fine. But RK, he's still waiting behind him. They can't directly attack. And EGM is about damage. to charge into Garda. Loader, he's got Song of the Siren back off cooldown again. And S4, not really in the position where he wants to find Shiki. He's gonna find the kill. Loader didn't commit the Song of the Siren, but Shiki's out of mana. And EGM finishes his charge forward, pushing Garda away. He wants to soul rip that Templar Assassin back up again. Able to do so as Admiral Bulldog triggers a refresher ulti as we get to go Kale right now. That's I imagine things are happening. <laughs> Piece it together, man. You're playing by frame rate. Uh, let's figure... Oh, wow. <laughs> Aegis just runs out. That's like the unluckiest thing I've ever seen. Templar Assassin, the dream is not is not alive for C to E C. Like aggressive comes out for the call down, but EGM's ready to go again. He's got Nether Strike and Charge. Yeah, they don't have the broom. I'm pretty certain I selected it before the fight, just to like triple check if he had it, and he did. And then it expired. Oh man. This has just gotta be the most frustrating game you've ever played if you're C D E C. They're just constantly throwing stuff at you, like Manta Illusions with Radiance. Like, Bulldog has 20 jumping in again. everywhere on the map. There's the split. 
They're going to mech up. The Stun will keep aggressive out of this fight, but what it's going to do is ensure they can take out this melee Rax, the Prulings. There's no way aggressive can even fight. He's up in the air for the maximum amount of time. Q is losing his life to illusions. Like, he, he doesn't want to hex the illusions, but he's at the point where he kind of has to. And another send up for the gyrocopter. Like by the okay, aggressive was up in the air the entire time while that melee Rex was taken down. At least EGM dies the Templar Assassin jump in, but the song of the siren TP out does its work. Prophet instantly forced in the bottom lane, and XZ's looking to try and punish it. Blink, four star forward, oh, and finally got the him. Scepter. They finally tracked down the Prophet. But do they have enough? Like, Bulldog's now just going to Wrath of Nature again and TP out. Flame breaks off cooldown so he can go again. Ah, uh, yeah, they've got it. Q got a little lucky there. They've got to be rejoicing right now. <laughs> like, they would have loved to have killed the Nature's Prophet and the split push right there and continue to go. Attack. Really big pickup, though, for CDC as the Templar Assassin finishes her S4. He starts instantly into the split. They just want the kill. Shiki will jump himself forward with the Monkey King Bar. He's got a little bit extra damage, but the Storm Brewing will send him up into the air. Xe, he gets the lasso. Oh, this might dragging be the fight for them. EGM back. And the Illuminate, however, it flies in. The Song of the Siren can't protect in time. 50 seconds without EGM. They put down defensive Serpent Wars. But remember, Alliance, what do you really lose here? Like a little bit of time while Song's on cooldown? They need something more and they're going to find it. It's RK and RK with gem. Blinding. Wait, no. No. That missile. Yes, he does die. And the gem is lost. Really? Wait, hello. Um, XD has an invis rune. He needs help. Like, he's so far away from help, it's not funny. And now, Blink Lasso, and they've actually got the hero BTs up. So level 2 BTs, Shiki will arrive, but S4 is already here in the fight, and they wanted to go for something, they had to go for something, but they'll probably lose their Batrider, the defensive Yule Scepter, and then the Blink away to safety. But the Prof is already TPing for this, or is he? They recall up, and yeah, there it is. They burn the Aegis the Immortal on the Batrider. And Xe's gonna drop here. No way to survive. Again. That's a gem now too. They get it back. I don't know if Bulldog really wants to put himself that far on the front lines, however, but like both Shiki as well as Aggressive have, have to be careful about the profit now. So they gotta trigger the Lincolns. There's no follow-up. The bottom ranks is just dead. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> They're just like, okay, we gotta defend mid. Alright, there's bottom racks gone. And bottom, we lose our mid tower. It's the it's the it's the never ending split push. There's, there's no way to stop it. Now the illusions come in, like the range racks in the middle. That's another racks. Yeah. Nothing can kill the Naga illusions. Aggressive, just uh, he already committed his flank, and now XE he finally finds something. It's S4, but the song of the sirens out next. He stuns himself because he was manalite. The rocket will connect on S4, but it's a guaranteed primal split. He'll come out of it. Aggressive will go into the BKB with a flank cannon. They burn through two of the Brulings very quickly as EGM is a distraction charge right through the middle of CDEC. Loader is still there and aggressive. He's isolated. He's being mana leaked as well. He has to stand his ground. S4's going to come back into his normal self in just a moment. Throwing out the last stun that he's got. The ensnare is there, but his bottom lane where Admiral Brawldog, he's just used... Okay, now here comes the secondary ulti. Killing off Shiki, and this really is the game. CDEC, they've lost basically everything. They're buying back, but they'll call the GG. Alliance will advance themselves through into the semi-finals of WCA, eliminating the TI5 finalists, CDEC. Uh, Alliance is winning. <laughs> <laughs> you saw how he set that up? I saw. I, I saw. saw. Yeah. Alliance won. I mean, this was a pretty impressive best of 3-2.